again. Um, a couple of days ago, I posted a meme, and I'll just read it out. Never discourage anyone who continu continually make progress, no matter how slow. Had a really good response to that. Thank you, everyone. Really, really appreciate that response. But it, I got a question as well from Maureen. And Maureen writes, what about someone who makes no progress or even goes backwards? Is there any encouragement for that person? Um, time is the first thing that comes to my mind in thinking about a response to, to those questions. Time doesn't go backwards. So sometimes we may feel that we're not making any progress and sometimes we may feel that we're going backwards. In fact, I, I seem to recall a, um, an old saying, uh, you know, two steps forward, one step back. Um, and let, you know, there are exceptions, I guess, and the exceptions being people with uh, severe mental um, and psychological disorders. But generally speaking, um, even when a person feels that they're not making progress, they are making progress. Um, even when, it, you know, sometimes making progress is going backwards to check on where I've come from or experiencing those feelings again. And sometimes I need to experience the, the feelings quite often before I can step away or step through those uncomfortable feelings or nasty feelings or feelings of despair, anguish, loneliness, um, use, uselessness. I, I remember very vividly, uh, I mean, lots of um, bad feelings about self, but probably the most recent one was feeling like a fraud. You know, just this constant feeling that I didn't deserve or I didn't have the right to be in the positions that I was in. And I felt that I would be judged and, um, you know, because I was trying to speak my mind. It's very difficult to respectfully speak one's mind um, to people that you know are going to um, cri criticise what you're going to say. And when I say, well, I'll, say, I'll use the word critique what you're going to say. So people are going to evaluate what I say, pull it apart, find the weaknesses, um, identify the strengths, and usually they won't get back to me with the strengths of what I say. They'll always come back at me with the, the weaknesses and the limitations of what I said. So and that kind of makes me feel insecure sometimes. It's like, oh, you know, I've got this, um, you know, I've got to put up with this, uh, this judgment again. Well... I've had, to, I've had to develop an understanding that that's a part of how we progress. That's a part of how I progress. So, when I was studying, I used to always feel that uh, I, w I just wasn't getting there. You know? and one of the things I had to learn, and this was a massive, it was a really big one, was, and there's two parts to it. The first part was not to be too judgmental on myself, not to create those you know, more problems for myself by being judgmental. The other part of that was to trust myself to trust 
that I was doing the right thing. To trust myself that my motives and my intentions were good. And if my motives and my intentions are good, then it doesn't matter how I feel. I must be making progress. Because feelings are not always facts. Feelings can deceive me sometimes. So if I feel that I'm going back, it's only a feeling. It doesn't make it right. So I think that slow progress is better than no progress and sometimes when we are making those very small taking those very small steps and we can't even see for ourselves that we're making progress sometimes other people around us can see that progress so perhaps it's good to have a conversation with someone and I think it's always good to have that person that you can bounce things off. It's, it's really important to have a, a person that you can talk to. So I, th I really do think that for most of us, unless we work out how to turn back time, um, we are making progress. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please like, um, subscribe, and let's keep the conversation going and share the, the links. Thank you.